Are we, are we perfect in all our thoughts in every way? Fail. I know I fail on that. Maybe I hit my purpose a high percentage of time, but thoughts every so often, you, you know, you're just driving down the road, you're watching TV, and boom. Where know that where'd that come from? You know? And it may not be bad, but it's not it's not when you go to uh where's the list? Think on these things. Philippians something? Didn't think on these things like Philippians four eighteen or something like that? So it's like, well that's not in the list, so I'm not in every way on my thoughts. And then the last thing they thought it said, in action. Oh, I've got a low percentage on that too, probably. You're driving down the road is all my actions the way Christ would react. <laughs> is you know, when someone is mean and hollering and screaming at you is your reactions the way Christ would react. So just thought many multitudes of scenarios. And I just thought that was fascinating that the Amplified said that that's our advocate. And in verse two he says, And he, that same Jesus, is the propitiations for our sins, the atoning sacrifice that holds back the wrath of God that would otherwise be directed. I gotta change my page. Directed at us because of our sinful nature. I'm pretty sure I didn't talk much about that because it wasn't on a thread we were going last week, but I'm gonna talk about it today. That big word that everybody may need to remember the de definition of that, that throws a propitiation. And remember, here's, it's a simple definition. The atoning sacrifice that holds back the wrath of God that otherwise would be directed to us. Once we're saved and we accept Christ, the big word propitiation simply means that His blood's covering us so the, the just wrath of God would not, would not take us out. And that's deep. That's the first repentance. That's the first turning. Remember when we were talking about John the Baptist? That was probably what they were talking about. You know, repent. Turn from your ways because I'm used to following a, a, a different way. Repent. Turn toward Christ. It's, it's a new thing. We become a new creature. We became something totally new. And even I believe at that time we the Spirit knows our new name but we won't know it until we get into heaven. And He's gives us our new name when, whenever that time is. And that's fascinating. It, it, it's just a, a fascinating thing. He says, because of our sinful, our worldliness, our lifestyle, and not our, for ours alone, but also for the sinners of all believers throughout the world. Remember we talked about how powerful that blood was last week to cover everybody that ever lived if they accept Him. That's some powerful blood. That's a powerful act of Christ on the cross in the middle of time but that that act on the cross covered the ones before in a way and it's covering the ones after in a way so it's a fascinating how powerful that one act was that the messiah came and did verse three and now he's going to get back to where we were how are we going to know that we actually accepted christ how are we going to know that we actually accepted that he died for us and covered us and made us a new creature and that God no longer looks at us in judgment of you sinner. Now he looks at us as the righteousness of Christ. He says, and this is how we know. And the Amplified says daily by experience that we have come to know him, to understand him and more deeply acquainted with him. If we habitually keep focused on his precepts and obey his commandments and teaching. There's a lot there. So you know how many how many of us, uh, how many Christians around the world you, you say the sinner's prayer however that however that looks that that fascinating few phrases that, that whoever's standing in front of them gets to say you know is you need to say this say this this say, you're now you're saved and then but the fruit of the salvation you can see because he's telling us here he says and this is how we know daily by experience how are they experiencing. Their walk with God. Daily. How many Sunday Christians use Christians lightly on few of them, hopefully on less than more, that say they become saved, but they're not daily experiencing a transformation, a repentance, a forming, a shaping. Remember, we're the clay in His hands. That we have come to know Him. To understand him. Let's 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 dig that phrase a little bit. Um, 
to understand Him. When, when, when Scripture is talking about us understanding God, is it talking about us 100% open the Bible anywhere and you're like, ah, 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 when He's talking about that understanding? What do you think He's talking about when He says to understand Him? Believe what He's saying. Mm-hmm. He's 